It is very rare that developers send me tower defense games, which makes it even more curious that they sent me two on the same day, and both with a particularity that sought to separate them from the others. And if I didn't find Escape from the Red Planet very enjoyable, Other War was able to give me the balanced challenge I like to have with these games. Since you are here, just leave a like, a comment, or sub to the channel for more indie related content. It helps a lot. Thank you. Other War's story is very simple, and like most games in this genre, it's little more than a context for the entire game. Our objective is to defend the gates of heaven and prevent monsters from entering it. Of course, the definition of a monster is a bit broad, as it includes animals such as flies, spiders or even armless balls of slime. The pixel art is not very detailed, in a way reminds me of Vampire Survivors but a little more washed out, so much so that I needed to go confirm what some of the monsters were in their respective description. With an acceptable musical choice, but so little memorable that I had to turn the game on again just to confirm it, it fulfills its function, closing the empty spaces without distracting us, since the game demands a lot of attention. The particularity of Other War is trying to combine a bullet hell with tower defense, placing us as an active part of the action, by letting us play as an angel who can shoot at the monsters from a top-down perspective. This idea itself isn't original, but still makes the game distinctive enough to have kept me entertained until I finished the main story, albeit on the easiest difficulty. Other War manages to be quite challenging and even on the lowest difficulty level it's not a walk in the park, at least until we understand how to synergize the different towers that we gradually unlock as we advance in the game. That's really the trick, realizing the synergy between the towers, which, once understood, simplifies things a lot. The strangest thing about the game is the difficulty curve. The game is divided into three biomes, each with a different boss and monsters, and the second of those features the toughest enemies. I understand the creator's idea as the game doesn't just have a tower defense component. In theory, the enemies of the last biome are much more demanding for our attention and movement since the amount of projectiles they shoot is often able to cover a good part of the screen, but the game also has a skill tree and at that point we already have many ways to defend ourselves against all those projectiles that navigate the screen and, even if we don't, that bullet hell component is not the game's greatest strength since it's enough for us not to stop moving to, generally, not get hit. When I see a skill tree, I'm always suspicious of unnecessary grinding, but this is not the case here. I always felt that the game was balanced with the options we were unlocking, giving us enough currency to keep track of the game's progress. This will perhaps be the moment when the difference to play in the easiest mode is the most noticeable, even when we realize that it is impossible to unlock everything before reaching the end of the game, even on that difficulty. Each level takes about 30 minutes to finish and that is perhaps the biggest enemy of my concentration, as I often end up forgetting the right sequences, a little bit because of tiredness and failing in fine detail, but that's a me problem, not the game. Like the already mentioned Vampire Survivors, Other War seems to me an ideal game to be played casually. Other War won't appear in the Game of the Year conversations, but it does offer challenge, creativity and good enough mechanics to be worth its asking price by a wide margin. If you like the genre, it seems to be a safe bet. See you next time, guys. Bye.